Hi guys, I want to talk about a topic that affects millions of people around the world cancer. Cancer is one of the most feared diseases in the world, and it has affected countless families and individuals. While there are many causes of cancer, including immune system abnormalities and genetics, carcinogens that enter the body from the outside can cause cells to mutate and lead to cancer. Therefore, it is important to recognize the carcinogens that cause cancer in the environment and prevent them. Today, we'll take a closer look at some of the carcinogens and harmful substances that are lurking in our daily lives and how to deal with them. The first item on our list is humidifiers. Many people use humidifiers during dry weather to keep their homes comfortable. However, there is always a debate about whether it is safe to use tap water or filtered water in humidifiers. A Japanese broadcaster conducted a study and found that tap water had fewer microorganisms than filtered water at first, but after 12 hours, both types of water had similar levels of microorganisms. It was expected that the chlorine in the tap water would disinfect the water itself and prevent bacteria from growing, but this was not the case. Experts recommend that humidifiers should be changed and cleaned at least once every two days to prevent bacteria from growing. Bacteria such as Staphylococcus, Pneumococcus bacillus, and Pseudomonas aeruginosa can cause pneumonia, enteritis, sore throat, and sepsis through the respiratory tract. Thus, it is crucial to keep your humidifier clean to prevent the growth of harmful bacteria. The second items are scented candles, air fresheners, and deodorizers. These products are often used in enclosed areas such as restrooms and elevators or to change the atmosphere in your home. However, most of these scented products contain ingredients such as limonene and phthalates that can cause harm. Limonene, the ingredient that gives air fresheners, bleach, and dish soap their lemony scent, is considered harmless. However, when it is released into the air and exposed to ozone, it turns into a carcinogen called formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a class 1 carcinogen designated by the International Agency for Research on Cancer and can cause unpredictable inflammatory reactions, liver toxicity, lung, throat, and breast cancer. Phthalates, a type of environmental hormone that helps fragrances linger in the air, are also known to cause endocrine disruption in the human body. They increase the incidence of liver cancer in particular, increase the risk of premature birth in pregnant women, and worsen hormone disruption, stinted brain development, and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in children when exposed to phthalates. Experts recommend avoiding scented candles as much as possible, as burning candles can increase carbon monoxide levels in the room, which can cause symptoms such as dizziness, headaches, and nausea. If you notice a bad odor, try to find the source and eliminate it. Use scented candles or air fresheners only temporarily as needed and open windows frequently for ventilation. The third item on our list is dry cleaning. When we take our clothes to the dry cleaners to get them cleaned, they often use petroleum derivatives such as benzene, ethyl benzene, and xylene to remove dirt from our clothes. Most of these ingredients are classified by the International Agency for Research on Cancer as Group 1A and 2A carcinogens, which means they are considered very likely to cause cancer. Because dry cleaners often wrap clothes in plastic before they are completely dry, you're bringing them home with these volatile organic compounds still attached, which is why they retain their characteristic musty odor. Constant exposure to a substance called perchlorotylene, which is commonly used in dry cleaning, can easily enter the body through the skin or bronchial tubes, putting you at a high risk for complications, including certain types of cancer, according to a study published in a journal. Exposure to these substances, not only for those whose jobs involve them, but also for the average person who regularly gets their clothes or uniforms dry cleaned, can cause dizziness, drowsiness, memory loss, and even skin rashes or problems. In particular, some people store their laundry in a closet without removing the plastic, which can cause petroleum-based chemicals to become trapped in the plastic and not escape, which can be ingested as you open the closet. 
The nature of volatile organic compounds is that they have a low boiling point, so they move quickly into the air when they are heated, like in sunlight, and they are particularly susceptible to degradation by ultraviolet light. When you get a load of laundry, it's a good idea to let it sit outside with the plastic open for 3 to 4 hours before you shake it off and store it in the closet. The fourth item is receipt paper. Most receipts from restaurants and cafes use thermal paper, which is made by coating the surface of the paper with a chemical that changes color when heated, allowing for inkless writing. The problem is that bisphenol A is used as the chemical that gives the paper its color. Bisphenol A is a typical endocrine disruptor, or environmental hormone, that can penetrate through the skin. Studies on bisphenol A in the United States, Japan, Europe, and other countries around the world have shown that it reduces testosterone and causes erectile dysfunction and azoas permia in men, causes problems such as sexual precocity and birth defects in women, and causes various diseases such as uterine and breast cancer with repeated exposure. Recent studies have also shown that it can cause diabetes, obesity, and atopic dermatitis, so it's important to be careful. In particular, bisphenol A is more soluble in oil than in water, so it is more easily absorbed by the body when touched with hands covered in hand cream, lotion, or sanitizer. A study from the University of Missouri in the United States found that holding a receipt for about two seconds after applying hand cream increased the level of bisphenol A on the skin to nearly 60 times the safe level. This just goes to show how dangerous a receipt can be when it's held for a split second. Experts advise that when you receive a receipt, you should grab the unprinted area and put it away quickly. If you're in a job where you have to touch receipts from time to time, you should definitely wear gloves. The fifth item on our list is a hairbrush. Hairbrushes are commonly used for grooming and scalp pressure. But there are some really shocking germs on hairbrushes. According to a study by a university in the U.S., hairbrushes can contain up to 300 times more germs than toilet handles and 20 times more germs than Shurax. This is not something to take lightly, as these germs can be transferred to your scalp when you brush your hair, causing itchiness, dandruff, folliculitis, and even hair loss. The reason why hair brushes are so germy is that dead skin cells from the scalp and residue from hair products such as hair waxes and sprays get trapped in the nooks and crannies of the hair brush with every brush stroke, creating a perfect environment for bacteria, fungi, and other germs to grow. Therefore, it is recommended that you periodically soak your hair brush in shampooed water for at least 10 minutes, clean it with a toothbrush, and dry it thoroughly in the sun before using it. Additionally, it's important to avoid sharing your hairbrush with others, especially if you have any scalp conditions or infections, and to replace your hairbrush regularly, especially if the bristles are damaged or worn out. Finally, the sixth and last item on our list is your TV remote control. How many times a day do you touch your TV remote control? A study published in the Journal of Infection Prevention found Staphylococcus aureus, a bacteria that can cause skin infections and pneumonia, on TV remotes, as well as other bacteria found in feces, including E. coli, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Enterococcus, and Picalis, which cause a variety of illnesses including abdominal pain, headaches, diarrhea, pneumonia, and urinary tract infections. TV remotes, in particular, are a breeding ground for germs because they are touched by more than one person in a household. Furthermore, if you're staying in a hotel or pension, you're bound to touch the remote to turn on the TV, and a study by the American Society for Microbiology found that TV remotes are more contaminated with germs than bedspreads, door knobs, and toilets. For this reason, it's a good idea to clean your TV remote whenever you can. While a simple wipe is fine, you can also use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer to get into the crevices with tissues, cotton balls, or swabs. Additionally, you may want to consider using a disposable cover for your TV remote, especially if you have guests over or are staying in a hotel or rental property.
In conclusion, there are many everyday items that we use that can pose a risk to our health if we are not careful. From humidifiers to scented candles, dry cleaning, receipt paper, hair brushes, and TV remotes, it's important to be aware of the potential risks and take steps to mitigate them. By following the tips and recommendations provided in today's video, you can help protect yourself and your loved ones from these hidden dangers and lead a healthier, happier life. That's it for our health talk today. If you found it interesting, please subscribe 5 Minutes Health Talk channel and don't miss out out next story. Thank you, have a great day.